Rejoice, O heavens, and exult, O earth. For our Lord will come to show mercy to his Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to the contrast of heart, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, creator, redeemer of human nature, who willed that your word should take flesh in an ever virgin womb, look a favor on our prayers. That your only begotten Son, having taken <coughs> to himself our humanity, may be pleased to grant us a share in his divinity. Who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <coughs> A reading from the book of Genesis. Jacob called his son and said to them, Assemble and listen, sons of Jacob. Listen to Israel, your father. You, Judah, shall your brothers praise. Your hand on the neck of your enemies, the sons of your father, shall bow down to you. Judah, like a lion's whelp, you have grown up on prey, my son. He crouches like a lion recumbent. The king of beasts, who would dare arouse him? The scepter shall never depart from Judah, or the mace from between his legs, while tribute is brought to him, and he receives the people's homage. The word of the Lord. A response to our song. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in his time. O oh God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice, justice shall flourish in time, and flourish peace The mountains shall yield peace for the people, and the hills justice. He shall defend the afflicted among the people. Save the children of the poor. Justice shall flourish in time, and goodness of peace Justice shall, flourish, shall flower in his days, and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. Justice shall flourish in his time, and goodness of peace May his name be blessed forever. As long as the sun, his name shall remain. In him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed. All the nations shall proclaim his happiness. Justice Just shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. O wisdom of our God most high, guiding creation with power and love, come to teach the path of knowledge. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the beginning of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you. The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham became the father of Isaac, Isaac the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah became the father of Perez and Zerah, whose mother was Tamar. Perez became the father of Hezron, Hezron the father of Ram, Ram the father of Aminidad, Aminidad became the father of Nashon, Nashon the father of Solomon. Salmon, the father of Boaz, whose mother was Rahab. Boaz became the father of Obed, 
whose mother was Ruth. Obed became the father of Jesse, Jesse the father of David the king. David became the father of Solomon, whose mother had been the wife of Uriah. Solomon became the father of Rehoboam, Rehoboam the father of Abijah, Abijah the father of Asp, Asp became the father of Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat the father of Joram, Joram the father of Uzziah. Uzziah became the father of Jotham, Jotham the father of Ahaz, Ahaz the father of Hezekiah. Hezekiah became the father of Manasseh, Manasseh the father of Amos. Amos the father of Josiah, Josiah became the father of Jehokachim and his brothers at the time of the Babylonian exile. After the Babylonian exile, Jehokachim became the father of Shetiel, Shetiel the father of Zerubbabel, Zerubbabel the father of Abiud, Abiud the father of Elikim, Elikim the father of Azor, Azor the father of Zadok, Zadok became the father of Akim, Akim the father of Eli. Eliud the father of Eleazar. Eleazar became the father of Mathan. Mathan the father of Jacob. Jacob the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. Thus, the total number of generations from Abraham to David is 14 generations. From David to the Babylonian exile, 14 generations. From the Babylonian exile to the Christ, 14 generations. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Good morning. I may have said this prior, but every time I come to this selection of the Gospel, it's the beginning of the Gospel of Matthew, the genealogy as recorded by St. Matthew, I remember fondly my mother called me, oh God, this was years ago. And she asked me if a priest, priest who was reading the gospel, could he stop the gospel and just go on with the mass? And I said, wait, hold it. Please explain further. And she said that the priest at the parish that she had attended that day um, was doing this gospel and it was a weekday mass. And, he kept fumbling, bumbling, stumbling over the names, and the more he fumbled, bumbled, and stumbled, the redder and the redder his face got. Eventually, he just closed the door and said in a huff, well, you know the rest, and went on with the mass. But, no, no, Mom, he can't do that. Uh, Psalm 72 was our responsorial psalm today. And it speaks of the messianic reign of the Messiah, a king, a just, righteous king. And I thought about it a lot this morning in prayer, and I realized that it can only be hindsight, the reign of the Messiah. It can only be that, that they're referring to. Because if I look at the Old Testament, the two great kings of the Old Testament, David and his son Solomon, David beloved by God, but boys he corrupted. Solomon, who has the wisdom beyond anyone else, and he falls as well. I look at modern Governments, I look at modern leaders, both governmental and religious. Can I point to any one group, any one institution that will not end up corrupt if given power, sometimes if given absolute power? There's the old statement, Power corrupts absolute, power corrupts absolute. But then I look at myself and I say, 50 plus years, could I be a government leader or a leader given total authority? You know, we always pray if they would only listen to me. But then, 
if given, if God would miraculously grant me that gift, that I am now the king of North America, and everybody must do what I say, could I, with 50 plus years of experience, wisdom, prayer, could I govern? Could I lead? No. No. I know me. Abuse would take place in some way. Might be all the ice cream is given to me. I don't know. But there would be some abuse. Why? Because I am weak. I have flaws. I think if any of us are put in that position, none of us would say honestly that we would rule justly and rightly, for we all would have to face our inner demons, our flaws. We would all be confronted with temptations that we're not confronted with today, thank God, because we don't have that to deal with. And that's a blessing. It really, truly is. We say, if only they would listen to us, if only we had the power, but we don't realize the immense responsibility and the great temptations that would arise if given that. So it could only be referring to the reign of the Messiah. And so how can we see the reign of the Messiah in this world today? By only one way. And that is to first allow God to reign here in my heart. For if he can reign in my heart first, then I can be a conduit to allow his love to spread and possibly reign in the hearts of others. Because I don't merely preach his name, I live his name. I live his words. They have residence within my heart. If we want to see a more just, more honorable, more righteous society, it has to begin here by ourselves becoming more righteous, more just, more honorable. If we do that, then slowly, ever so slowly, one person at a time, we can slowly move back toward that which we desire. Will it ever be equal to the reign of the Messiah? No, no, it will not be. For only heaven will be the perfect reign of the Messiah. But could the world become a fairer, just, righteous, dignified, holy, honorable place? Yes, yes it could, slowly. And that's what we pray for. May God reign in our hearts and in our world. May, God, may Almighty God be with you. May he bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Coming together as one family and faith, we offer to God our prayer and our need. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray for the Lord. We pray for those who are sick, or suffering in any way this day. And those who care for the sick and suffering, we pray for the Lord. We pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who will watch this Mass on video, and for the needs of you here present in our church today, we pray to the Lord. We pray for the repose of the soul of Father Herman Schmidt, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Oh, yeah. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and shall be.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For to the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual fruit. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours would be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sanctify these gifts of your church, O Lord, and grant that through these venerable mysteries we may be nourished with the bread of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks to the Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets were told him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones, dominions, and with all the host and powers of heaven, we sing in the name of your glory, as without end we proclaim. Holy, 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 you are indeed, Holy Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sitting down in your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he took willingly into his passion. He took bread on and giving thanks for it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up. For you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chops. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim the death of the Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humble we pray that after partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, our Lord in heaven, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant the peace in our days, and that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. To await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the the power of the glory of Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, who takes the great sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes the great sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes the great sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes the great sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes the great sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes the great sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes the great sins of the world, Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Let us pray. Nourished by these divine gifts, Almighty God, we ask you to grant our desire that aflame with your spirit we may shine like bright torches before your Christ when he comes, who lives and reigns forever and death. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass ascended to go in peace. Amen. Amen. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy, Holy Michael, 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 Mich
Let us be the grandmother of God, Mary, and so forth. Let us be the holy man. 